Hello everybody, it's that time of year again. That's right, it's time for my 31 Days of Horror, 2016 edition. This year I'll be covering Frankenstein movies. They only seem like the natural progression from vampires to werewolves to Frankenstein. Now this year, like every year before, it is going to be different than what you're used to. Many of the things I liked from previous attempts of doing this will be remaining, but I'm changing a lot of things about it to help me get these done in a reasonable amount of time because I'm, I am got my hands full doing a lot of stuff right now. I'm in the process of making a TV show and it's just, it, it's just crazy. But I want to deliver some good sound content here because especially when I first started out, it, it, it was just like, I like this movie. I didn't like this movie. And unfortunately that's the problem with reviewing 31 horror movies in 31 days. It, it's a very taxing experience. Um, I can see why uh, James Rolfe spends an entire year doing it, where I just spend a month. Speaking of which, I always get asked this. No, I am not ripping off James Rolfe. I actually had no idea what Monster Madness was until a year after I did to, uh, th uh, my first 31 Days of Horror thing. I was actually inspired to do it by Water Cooler Films. And I know I'm going to get asked this because I get asked every year. I will not be doing any of the uh, house movies that Universal did, like House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, House of the Wolfman. I know they feature the Frankenstein characters, but I'm not going to do it because I view those as an ensemble movie. So there will be no Frankenstein meets the Wolfman or Frankenstein versus the Mummy. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, maybe I'll do something later on down the line. Uh, like all these movies I, I could have done, but I didn't or something. I don't know. I just will not be doing them. I mean, I love Monster Squad, but I can't, you know. But that movie could have been done in the last 331 Days of Horror I've done as well. And for those of you who support me on Patreon, uh, if you're wondering how this is going to go, no, I will not be asking for Patreon money for all 31 videos. That would be absolutely ridiculous i do plan on having a actual episode of joey's movies out in october so but I, this is a very taxing job so i kind of think this is patreon worthy so what i'm planning on doing is i'm going to charge for the joey's movies if i do end up doing that which i hope i do and i'll be charging once at the end of the month for the 31 days of horror if you have any issue with that, you know, send me a message via Patreon or Facebook or whatever, and uh, we can talk about it and we'll discuss it with the other Patreon members. Well, that's it for now. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in day one of my 31 Days of Horror.